So this topic is exponential smoothing, which is a more advanced sort of weighted moving average approach to forecasting. So this is a, a, a the topic today is forecasting. The specific approach we're using is ex exponential uh, smoothing. Referring back to my last video where I looked at the naive, which just looked one period back, the weighted average, uh, sorry, the simple moving average, which looked back at various lengths of time to come up with a forecast and the weighted moving average which put more weight on the more recent uh, sales but also moved. Exponential smoothing is a way of doing, is essentially a weighted moving average uh, but uh, it does it in a, in a simpler, uh, sorry, in a different way. I would argue it's less work, but sometimes it's conceptually a little bit more difficult for students. So simply the notation then is the forecast in time t is equal to the forecast in t time t minus 1, the last forecast, and it's also often called the level, plus alpha, which is what's called a smoothing parameter. And if you remember, when I talked about way, uh, moving averages, the longer the moving average is, the, the, uh, the smoother your forecast is. So uh, the smoothing parameter times actual t minus 1 minus forecast t minus, t minus 1. So what you're doing is you're taking what your actual sales were last month or last period and and uh, subtracting the forecast and so you're saying how much was I wrong by last time and then adjusting the forecast to partially to reflect uh, how much you were wrong by. So if alpha is high you give more weight to recent data. So if this is high, if this is high, then you adjust to reflect that actual and you give more weight, frankly, to the more recent sales which and and the the forecast is is a is a is an average of many previous sales. So the bigger alpha is, the more weight you give to recent uh, data. If alpha is low, you give more weight to historical data. So if alpha is equal to 1, you would say the amount I missed by my last time, I'm going to add to this. So I'm going to really respond to that, uh, that difference between the two in the last period. And if alpha is low, I'm not going to respond to that, that actual much at all. I'm going to respond to it just a little bit. So let's sure to so, show, sort of show how to apply that. So, we're going to go back to this data, weeks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, this is actual, 20, 22, 18, 21, 22. For exponential smoothing, you need to know for uh, what what a starting forecast or level is. So we're going to just assume the forecast for week one is equal to 20. And we're going to forecast using alpha equals 0 0.1. So we are not going to respond to those differences very much. So for week one then, we would have F t is equal to f t minus 1. So the forecast 
uh, uh, sorry, this is just the formula plus alpha times a t minus 1 minus f t minus 1. And so for the forecast for period 2 is equal to the forecast for period 1, which is 20, plus alpha times 20 minus 20. So it's going to equal to 20. So again, we can't forecast period 1. Uh, we were given that. The forecast for period 2 is equal to 20. If you then look, let me just pull this aside for a second. Forecast for period 3 is equal to 20, which is the forecast for period 2, plus 0 0.1, which is the alpha that we were given. 22 was the actual in period 2, minus 20, which was our forecast, equals 20 plus 0 0.2, that difference times 0.1, equals 20.2. Forecast for period 4 is equal to 20.2 plus 0 0.1, times 18 minus 20.2. Actual is lower, so this is going to be a negative number multiplied by 0 0.2, uh, multiplied by 0 0.1, sorry, uh, and then this number is going to get lower, so we're going to get 19.98. The forecast for period 5 then is equal to 19.98 plus 0 0.1 times 21 minus 19.98 equals 20.1 and the forecast for period 6 would be easy to calculate is 20.3. So if we go back to to this we would have 20 uh, 20 20.2, 19.98, 20.1, and 20.3. So this is for alpha equals 1. For alpha is equal to 0 0.3. All we would change is that this would go from 0.1 to 0.3, and you can see then how this changes. Twenty point six, nineteen point eight, twenty point two, twenty point seven. You can calculate them on your own. I've calculated them previously. Alpha is equal to zero, 20, zero point five. You would get twenty one, nineteen point three, twenty point three, and twenty one point one. All I wanted to highlight <coughs> here is that as alpha gets bigger, you respond to the more recent one more significantly. So here we had a forecast of 20, sales of 22, and with alpha is equal to 1, we had a forecast of 20.2. When alpha was equal to 0.3, we responded, we put more weight on that 22, and when alpha is equal to 0.5, we put even more weight on that 22. So essentially exponential smoothing becomes a weighted moving average and the bigger alpha is, the more weight you put on the most recent sales uh, and, and the more responsive it is to those most recent sales. So you start with the trend, you adjust using the smoothing parameter and the difference between the actual and the forecast, relatively straightforward approach just need to again keep straight which period you're forecasting and which numbers so you use one and two for uh, or you use two for three you use three for four and so on and so on that's a mistake that students often make people find this a little bit confusing but once you figure it out it's quick and easy and, and is worth uh, spending a bit of time on studying